And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage fair on the menu. It is Manchester United against Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. Well, those who've grown up supporting Manchester United, Lee, feel that the club should always be pushing for honours and always be pushing for Champions League glory. Well, yes, yeah, success is ingrained into the woodwork in this famous club. It really is. The history, it's sort of loop. And he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? Great save following the close range efforts. Look how close he gets to the goalkeeper. It's a really, really good save in the end. This is the team Manchester United will go with. The highly proficient David De Gea starts in goal. Chris Smalling plays alongside Phil Jones in central defence. Paul Pogba plays alongside Nemanja Matic in the centre of midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack is Romelu Lukaku. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. The evergreen Gianluigi Buffon begins in goal. Dani Alves starts with Levin Kurzawa as fullbacks. Marco Verratti starts alongside Adrian Rabio in the centre of the park. And the main striker today is Edinson Cavani, the Uruguayan throw into Manchester United Young Antonio Valencia in possession looking confident with the ball at his feet Alexis Sanchez no real threat you've got to say There's no doubt about it, the UEFA Champions League has come a long way since it came into existence back in 1992-93. And there are many, Lee, who say it's the highest standard of football you'll see anywhere. Well, I think it is the best club competition uh, in the world. I think the competition at the top, at the end, near the final, etc., is what it is. But the tournament is strong throughout. The group stages and then the knockout stages, it's the perfect format for me. Running towards goal, one man to beat the post and back in play and scope for the cross well he failed to get it away properly can they get themselves in front here he's unable to take the chance and he'll be disappointed here well nil nil it should be one nil it really should Now it's Alexis Sanchez. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Neymar. Edinson Cavani's in the vicinity. Goalkeeper's ball, the cross delivered too close to him. now the effectiveness of the high press oh he's through here only the keeper to beat the first goal of the match and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them it's taken a while but the pressure has taken its toll Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. 
slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So back underway in this game, Manchester United with the advantage. It's an excellent attack from PSG, but will there be an end product? Given away by Manchester United. Well, they've jumped in front, Lee. That's the most important thing. Your assessment so far? Well, it's all going well for United. Just, it's tight. Control of the ball is key when a game is like this. They have the players to do it for sure, though. But they'll be the happier of the two teams at half-time. Given away. Lukaku. The ball with Valencia. Kurzawa. Now Rabio. And that is that half time here in the Spanish capital. The effectiveness of the high press. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. The second half has started, and Paris Saint-Germain have work on their hands. Pogba has it. Beautifully timed. Given away by Verratti. Others in the vicinity. Now, let's see, Ashley Young. He's in with a chance, and just like that, the Red Devils have scored. Well, they were pressurising from the start, and in the end, it was only one result. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact, does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. Let's have another view of that goal. So, 2-0 now. Verassi now. Romelu Lukaku now. Matic on the ball. Lingard. And it's Fred. No problems grabbing hold of that one. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. Lukaku. Lukaku! Going for power there but just too much elevation on the short lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. Lo Celso. Here's Mbappe. Chance to eat into their lead. Cavani. Danny Alves with it. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. And a substitution in the offing. Fred with it. Possession seeded by United. 
an abundance of space. My goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. And Lingard in full control of the ball here. Oh, surely. And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. So, 20 minutes to go. Romelu Lukaku now. Now it's Alexis Sanchez. Here's Alexis Sanchez. That move looked as though it had genuine potential, but it's broken down. The effectiveness of the high press, and the Parisians have lost possession. Now the attack, promising as it was, scuppered there. He has time to play it over. And now this is Lingard. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. De Gea. And you don't want to lose possession there. Can they convert? That is top-notch goalkeeping. He had to reach in with his hand. Yeah, it's all about reading the pace of the ball and the player's feet. When do I go down? When do I strip the ball? Did a brilliant job then. Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed down. And the ball's been given away by Lukaku. And it's a case of just five minutes left. And in the second half here, and it's almost, Lee, a case of... Whatever they've touched has turned to goals. Well, for United, the creative teamwork has all come together tonight. The players are all... And he's broken free! Can he beat the goalkeeper? No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Verazzi now. Lukaku. Full time, and Manchester United claim all three points in their opening fixture in the Champions League. Well, it's everything you want from the start of match one. Good, strong start. That result will give everybody confidence, especially the players. Well done.